Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how can we fetch multiple rows from the table by using looping statement in the cursor. So in the previous video we have seen how to create a cursor and we can fetch the data. So if we take a here example, here I have created one table select star from EMP and if you write here a cursor program. So this is a cursor declare cursor c1 is select statement then this is declaration of variables variable employee name and salary then execution block started then here we are opening the cursor and fetching the data from the cursor to variable employee name and salary but here here we are getting only one record so if you want all the records then we need to use the looping statements so at the end close the cursor end of execution block and execute if we execute we are getting only first row data first employee name and his salary but if you want all the these employee names employee number and salary or a data then we need to use looping statement so let us see how can we use that this is our table so and in the previous video also we have seen the attributes of the explicit cursor and the syntax to use that first one is percentile is open so it returns true when the cursor is open successfully then found so it returns to when the cursor contains the data then percentile not found so it returns true when the cursor doesn't find any data and percentile row count so it returns the number of rows present in our table so let us see by using first simple loop so i have already created created video on the looping statements you can also see that that is why simple loop how can we use and while loop and also for loop so in this video we will use with the cursor so first is by using the simple loop so it is an indefinite infinite loop so that we need to break a loop then we are using the exit statement for breaking from this so let us see so we need to write here so what is this first one is we are declaring a cursor so declare cursor c1 select employee name and salary from the employee table so first we are creating here variable variable employee name variable salary then this is declaration block then we will write execution block in that first one is begin in that opening the cursor for that open cursor then here we are starting simple loop so loop and here we are fetching the data fetch cursor or data into variable employee name and variable set and here we are writing the exit condition so whenever cursor one not having data in that case we will exit from that loop so here is our attribute not found it will return true when the when there is no data in the cursor so this is exit condition otherwise we will print the and end of the loop so it will print the all the employee name and salaries here we can see all the employee names and salaries are printing here first one is scott and add that sam here we can see scott and add that sam so this is the way we can use simple loop for fetching the data from the table next we will see how can we fetch the data by using while loop so let me copy this here we go clear the screen select star from emp this is employee table and here we are using while loop here we are getting the data so let us understand what is here first one is declaration declare cursor c1 is select employee name and salary here we are doing same so this is declaration of variable then uh, starting of execution log here opening the cursor first step then fetching the data so it is first row data it will fetch first row data will be gone in the variable and uh, employee name and salary and here we are writing the while loop in this while loop we are writing condition so c1 percentile found so we have seen the attribute so what will it return when the data is present in that case it will return true so it will return true if the data is present in the cursor so while loop 
here we are at uh, printing so here first row data will be printed then again here we are writing fetch c1 into variable employee name and salary so second row data will be gone into this variable then again it will check while c1 percent alpha one. then it will return true so here we will print second row data here we can see first row is printed second row will be printed then it will again fetch the data from the third row then it will print this it will uh, check first of all c1 has a data if has then it will print so it will go on up to end and at the end if this way this c1 percentile found value become false in that case what happen it will go to end of the loop then closing the cursor and end of the execution block so at the end this uh, values will be printed so this is the way we can fetch the data by using while loop now third how can we use for loop so for loop is very easy for fetching let me copy this clear the screen clscr select star from employee table now here we will use for loop and for loop is very simple we here we didn't uh, required to open the cursor or close the cursor it will automatically explicitly done by internal so here we can see note whenever we are using a for loop statement in cursor for fetching rows from a cursor memory then there is no need to open cursor fetch row from the cursor and close cursor by explicitly because internally oracle server will open and fetch and close the cursor by implicitly so we need not to do that so here we can see we are not opening the cursor and closing the cursor or fetching the data it will automatically done internally so we need not to write that we only here declaration block declare cursor c1 is select employee name salary from the employee then started off here uh, execution block in that for i in the cursor one this is loop and here we will print i dot employee name i dot salary so all the rows will be printed let us execute this and here we can see all the rows from the scott to scan sam here we can see scott to sam so this is simple for loop by using we can fetch the data so these are the three ways we can fetch multiple rows from the table in the cursor first one we have seen the by using simple loop second one by using while loop and third is by using for loop and here we are using the different attributes of the explicit cursor you can see is open we use the percentile form it returns to when the cursor contains data percentile not found it returns true when cursor doesn't find in data and true count so we will see another examples on the cursor by using these attributes in the next videos